Hey everybody, Eternal Saiyan 96 here with uh, my review of Dragon Ball Z Kai Part 3 and 4. Like I said in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, um, or I don't know which one I'll upload first, probably upload them in order. I'm recording them more than likely. Uh, I might upload Bravely Default. Uh, have that be the newest one. Actually, you know what? I might as well just upload that one first. Who cares? But, um... So, yeah, I guess I'll love those in order. Up, upload those in order. But, um, yeah, this... I reviewed this, like, Game & Watch Ball. I reviewed this initially, or unboxed it, or whatever. And then the video got removed worldwide. Or the audio got removed, or whichever happened. I think, the, yeah, the audio got removed. I'm looking at it right now on my computer screen, or TV screen. Um, because... My opening, which I think for this one it was uh, Soul Eater opening two, and for the first part of this, which is going to look like a major dramatic change because that was recorded years ago in a different house while I was still a lot more inexperienced than I am currently with videos with a crappier camera because the Vita actually isn't that bad frame ro frame wise, but the 3DS is like a slideshow sometimes, so um, at least with my video is the way I... God damn it, I didn't turn off the Vita notifications yet. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll do... I swear I'll do that in the next one. I swear. But, um... Yeah, basically it got taken down. And I might as well just re-upload it. Or, not re-upload it, but remake it. And upload the video again. Uh, as far as part one goes, I'll just leave that as it is. You know, as a little memento to my early years. I'll just leave that as it is. Uh, but I thought I'd at least re-record this just since that one got taken down and I can't I was originally going to just retrieve the footage because I thought it would be weird to have the original video up and then re-upload this and I did think oh well, I could just redo both of them but I might as well just leave the other one up since there's no problem with it because I used a, a bomb ahead that opening for or whatever the hell it's called I haven't watched the anime, and I don't think I really want to because I've heard it's bad. Um, but I just like the I like the opening, um, so that's why I use that. So I think that's why that one's still up because no, I guess the copyright holders of that music track don't really care about it that much to go after my video for it. But uh, apparently, I think it was what music was it? Sony music. It might have been Sony Music. It was something, and they were like, oh, this contains content from this song. And instead of just taking out the song itself, the 30 seconds of the song itself, or 20 or 30 seconds, they decided to mute the entire video. So, yeah, I couldn't salvage the footage. But anyway, on to the review, I guess. I wasted three minutes explaining that. I really shouldn't... Well, I guess I should do it every video that I re redo, because obviously, if you're only watching one of the videos, you're confused. But, um, let's look at the packaging, I guess. Yeah, Goku, and I almost said Vegeta. How the hell do I get Frieza mixed up with Vegeta? Um, I guess I'm just used to saying Goku and Vegeta together as a thing. Not together as in pairings or anything. Okay, let's just stop talking. Um, Goku and Frieza. And they're fighting and they're... Bloody? Frieza has blood? Oh, that's right. Fuck. I'm stupid. Frieza does have blood. God damn it. I don't know why. Oh, sorry again for saying goddammit. But, um... I always forget that. It was Piccolo that wasn't supposed to have human-looking blood, but I think Frieza can. I don't know. Um, but yeah, Dragon Ball Z Kai Part 3 and 4. Episodes 27 through 52. Um, this was the last DVD set, or the last two sets, because this is two combined, um, that were released with the Kenji... Yamamoto score um, because if you just Google it, the copyright reasons, he was ripping off music. Basically, they had to change the soundtrack back to the original Japanese Dragon Ball Z soundtrack with the with the later releases, starting with uh, starting with part five. So only parts, and they actually remade. Um, I don't think in these specific sets, but in the uh, Dragon Ball Z season, Dragon Ball Z Kai season sets, um, they put the original Japanese music over. 1 through 4. So you can actually get Season 1, which is um, parts 1 and 2, and then get Season 2, which is 3 and 4. 
you can get those with the Japanese music and have it be consistent uh, with the later releases, which I probably will eventually, because I think I'm probably just going to end up trying to hunt down all the Blu-rays of the um, Yamamoto score. It probably won't be an easy task, or it might be an expensive task, but I kind of would rather own, an, own Kai on Blu-ray. Um, I only bought it on DVD because it was cheap, because you could get both together for like 30 bucks, and I was like, fuck, why not? So... Um, this will probably be sold at a yard sale eventually if I get the Blu-rays, but for right now, again, I might as well review it since I reviewed it before and it got taken down. So, there's a Kai logo. Um, on the back, let's read that. Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> Let me try a decent... Well, probably not decent, but I'll try my attempt at the narrator's voice. Dragon Ball Z. The legendary Z reborn. I can't read this through my freaking PS Vita camera, because it's too blurry. Kai is awesome. It's an absolute must-buy from DVD Talk. Probably from people who haven't seen Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z Kai before. Or, they've seen Kai, but... I've only recently seen anything Dragon Ball related. I don't know, that just seems like that's something that happens. Like, someone will write a, re write a review. I guess it's unbiased after saying that, but whatever. I mean, obviously, if it's from a previous fan's perspective, they're probably going to think it's the best thing ever, even if it's not. But, um, yeah, here's the DVDs they give you. They are labeled... Yeah, with each number they are. Um, so you could actually have all the DVD set DVDs on a shelf without the cardboard cases... And they're all numbered. Um, this one has Gohan on it. This one has uh, the Curlin on it. I don't know why I'm forgetting names. Frieza. And then Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, and the discs, they look like this. If I can open this. Yeah, they look like this. They're purple. Well, this season is purple, part four, which is uh, the last the last half of season two. Those discs are purple. And then if we open season three, season three is green. Yeah, season three is green. Because, yeah, um, season three is Piccolo-themed, I think. And then season four was um, Frieza-themed. Just like how uh, I think... The first Dragon Ball, like, part, uh... I'm pretty sure the first part of Kai, uh... Was orange, wasn't it? The discs were orange, and then for um, the second half of the first season, it was blue for Vegeta. I'm not sure, actually. can't remember. But, uh, yeah, that's all that. And I guess the synopsis of what happens during these episodes, I think it's just... Well, shit, I actually don't know where it starts... Um, basically they're on Namek, oh, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but this basically just more ventures through Namek as they do stuff. Goku fights Frieza, obviously. I think this is actually where the Frieza saga ends in this set, or on the last episode, or the second or last episode, I think, I don't know. But, um, it's pretty much the continuation, or pretty, is this the entire Frieza saga? I don't think it is. I don't know. But basically, it's most of the Frieza saga, um, or the Namek saga, or whatever the hell you want to call it, saga. And yeah, I'll just leave that at that. I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, and you're just looking at this to, to uh, see if you want to buy it. But um, I recommend it. I mean, even if you haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, Kai is a really good adaption, in my opinion. Um, even if... I mean... I know there's people out there who prefer Dragon Ball Z, the original, compared to Kai, but Kai... I think it's still, even if you like Dragon Ball Z better, you really, I still don't like people dissing on it, because I, I can understand liking Z better, I really can, you know, because it's the original, I understand that, but, I just don't understand the Kai bashing, I mean, if you don't like it, that's fine, but, I mean, it's not bad by any means, it's still a good adaption of Dragon Ball Z, um, with no filler and remastered, uh, animation and whatnot, and this fucking guy on my PSN keeps joining a party, he keeps flashing every two seconds keeps joining a party um i don't know why and that's happened actually like yesterday too i don't know what's up with this guy maybe his internet sucks um but yeah that's all that and you can see the pin badge from the last video i recorded in the background i forgot to move that but yeah so dragon ball z kai parts three and four this fucking guy keeps trying to join a chat and 
buy it. Support Funimation. Buy their Dragon Ball Z shit. Uh, but don't buy... I will actually throw this in. Unless you like... Cropped... Shit remastering... Dragon Ball Z like the um, Orange Brick sets. Do not buy the Dragon Ball Z Blu-rays they're releasing now. They are not the same as the ones they released initially. Where it was full frame and... Uh, actually remastered quite well since that was so expensive expensive apparently um they use the cheaper remastering alternative which is literally the exact same as the orange brick sets where they some of the lines of animation get removed sometimes and you know they just wash out some of the colors and they crop it to 16 by 9 for some reason i don't know why they do that i mean honestly if you want it to be 16 by 9 just zoom in the picture on your tv is that too hard to do don't take away the 4 by 3 ratio of the original animation to people who want to see it seriously common sense here folks i guess less work to do than i have to worry about the top and bottoms of the screen whatever i don't know but don't buy that unless you i mean if you want it and whatever but from a general standpoint I'd, I'd recommend not buying those, but do buy the, the DVD sets of Kai and the D Blu-rays of Kai. Regardless of the music, buy them. It's good. Um, and I do recommend the first uh, few sets, first few level sets of the Blu-rays. Not the newer ones, the old original ones. You can just Google to find out which one's which. Because even though they never finished those, only got like up to like a certain part in Vegeta, I think. In the Vegeta Saga, or the Saiyan Saga. Um, even though they only got up to like a little bit in there, um, they, it's still worth the buy just to watch the earlier, the first few episodes looking nice, I guess, if you can find it cheap enough, but just know they never continued it. So it sucks, but whatever. Well, they are continuing it now, but it's in crap quality, so I don't recommend it, but I mean, it's your money. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.